Hillary Clinton's days are numbered, or so it would appear. During the past few weeks, the FBI has dragged in Hillary's assistant, Huma Abedin, and Brian Pagliano, the IT specialist believed to have set up and maintained Clinton's server. Pagliano was given full immunity in exchange for his help with the investigation, an investigation narrowing down the correct answers to questions surrounding the emails on Hillary's private server deemed confidential that placed national security at a high level of risk while Hillary made a mockery of the U.S. Secretary of State office. By the way, you may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Those messages disappear all by themselves. As the investigation appears to wind down, Hillary will be interviewed by the FBI in a matter of days or weeks. Regarding the answers the FBI now has to questions that must be corroborated by Hillary, the FBI and the Justice Department have denied any knowledge of whether or not the investigation is closing or whether or not Hillary is the target of the investigation. But The Hill reports, Stephen Levin, a former federal prosecutor and current partner at the law firm Levin and Curlitz said, this certainly sends the signal that they are nearing an end to their investigation. Typically, the way we structured the investigations when I was a federal prosecutor is that we would seek to interview the target last. Stephen Levin continues, As you begin to interview people who are extremely close to the target of an investigation, people who are considered confidants, you typically interview those people towards the final stages of the investigation. So that way, if they tell you something that is contrary to something you've already learned, you can immediately challenge them on that information. Tech activist Marcel Lazar, aka Guccifer, claims to have breached Hillary's server at least twice. Guccifer said he first compromised Clinton confidant Sidney Blumenthal's AOL account in March of 2013 and used that as a stepping stone to the Clinton server. He said he accessed Clinton's server like twice, though he described the contents as not interesting to him at the time. Doodles by Bill Clinton appear to back up Guccifer's claims that were released as far back as 2013. It bears repeating the extent to which Hillary violated her position in the State Department, because most people have become completely accustomed to corruption as business as usual. Here are the facts. As the nation's chief diplomat, Hillary Clinton was responsible for ascertaining whether information in her possession was classified and acknowledged that negligent handling of that information could jeopardize national security, according to a copy of an agreement she signed upon taking the job. A day after assuming office as Secretary of State, Clinton signed a sensitive compartmented information non-disclosure agreement that laid out criminal penalties for any unauthorized disclosure of classified information. The sensitive compartmented information non-disclosure agreement details how Hillary has been granted access to sensitive compartmented information, or SCI classified information. The agreement states that Hillary hereby acknowledges that the disclosure of SCI may constitute violations of United States criminal laws and that nothing in the agreement constitutes a waiver by the United States of the right to prosecute for any statutory violation. The agreement is also severable, meaning if one part is unenforceable, the remainder of the provisions in the agreement remain in full force and effect. Bottom line, U.S. intelligence officials determined at least four and up to 305 of the emails Hillary's aides printed out were from Hillary's personal server and were SCI at the time they were written. Two of the emails discussed classified drone information deemed top secret by the CIA. Hillary Clinton faces 10 years behind bars as required under the Espionage Act. Jeffrey Sterling, a CIA leak, was sentenced to three and a half years after disclosing national defense information concerning a covert operation. And General David Petraeus was slapped with two years probation and a fine of $100,000 for revealing classified documents to his mistress. Petraeus, a former director of the CIA, a four-star general, and CENTCOM commander, had served our country for 37 years. So why would Hillary Clinton deserve immunity? Ignorance and or negligence of Hillary's possession of highly sensitive, classified emails is no joke. 
In fact, if Hillary does walk away from this investigation with a slap on the wrist after she personally went to great lengths to cover up a mountain of evidence, the entire farce will demonstrate just how far gone the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Justice Department really are. Hillary's path of deception could even serve to take those departments to the cleaners if Donald Trump becomes president and keeps his word. John Bound for Infowars.com